Welcome back to more Glad World, uh, but actually it's not that glad because uh, Gareth and Chris are no longer with us. What happened? Rest in pepperoni. Also, Mex Mexi is in here, but he'll he'll probably be back uh, later. But we got we got two different people. We got a uh, first uh, special Patreon uh, guest. Uh, Kylo is back. Hey. And other super special guest. Uh, I got uh, Tanner's here. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, from YouTube channel slash Tanner of the North. Also, I'm on Hellfire comms like sometimes. Hello, everyone. I don't know much about Mad World, but this game is by Platinum, and Platinum's in my jam. You're like the only other person I could find that was pretty eligible in either Mad World or Platinum. So I was like, hey, come over here. Also, you're Canadian, and Canadians are cool. Heck yeah. Wait a minute, we were, we were allowed to plug ourselves? You never told yeah, me you this. Plug yourself. I'm in this game to kill I do our on Twitter. <laughs> That's it. Everybody already knows that. That's not special. Wow, feelings hurt. Okay, so th at this part in the game, uh, I forget. I wasn't paying attention to the plot. We're at the sumo guy. I forget his name. Rules. Yes, this is the uh, this is the uh, the uh, Japanese place. The the Japanese uh, aesthetic place. Chinese. Oh, you got the perfect guy oh, Chinese, for that. Chinese and Japanese. That's me. Oh, Chinese. Whoops. Don't you think oh well, no, never mind. I'm not. I don't care anymore now. It's Chinese <laughs> and Japanese. The first area is Chinese. The rest is Japanese. I forget about that. Let's just call it Asia Land. It's it's called Asia Land. Koreaville. Make your fans happy. Freaking Agent Thirteen. Freaking Wolverine. I love I love Steve Bloom. Oh, he's so he's good. So good. I just had a really bad like uh, cold recently, and somehow I ended up sounding exactly like Steve Bloom from it, which was really cool for a day until I realized as a teacher slash let's player, losing your voice is literally means you're dead. <laughs> Wait, uh, Stefan, why are you ranked yeah. 71 and not, and why is he ranked 94? <laughs> what? It, you're, I, are you ahead? Like... I wait. I think I. Th oh no! I remember. I remember. The, the, I, I think I fucked up uh, recording, so I had to redo this. So okay. I, I just remember. I was like, yeah, because it, it's been a while since I recorded this game. So I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I fucked up. Uh, I fucked up a recording, so I had to redo this. Continuity issues. What is this? The new Star Wars trilogy? Ha <laughs> ha ha ha! I saw the fact that you were ranked seventy one, and the show uh, and Shogun was ranked ninety four, and I'm like, wait. What? See, I, I, th 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 this tells that you're paying more attention to uh, me editing because I completely forgot about that going through <laughs> it. So, whoops. Yeah, the neat thing I love about this stage is the rap doesn't really kick in until you're actually fighting enemies. I thought that was really yeah. cool about the stage. This soundtrack's good. Yeah, it really is. I heard it is one of the best soundtracks to work out to. It's, uh, it's one of those ones with that good BPM for your heart. Yeah, working out <laughs> the songs about maiming and murdering people. You can kill Gets someone you with a bell. What other games yeah. can do that? Um, surprisingly, Super Mario 3D World. Oh, oh, yeah, well, well, that's right. you don't kill them with the bell. You kill them with the suit. You Fair enough. A bell but you to get turn into, yeah. suit via bell. Uh, mi no, Mr. Game and Watch doesn't use the bell. Uh, the bell is uh, taunt. Oh no, I know. Um, Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, I was wondering. Kirby, Kirby, him. Kirby. Oh, oh Kirby, Kirby yeah. that is true. Yep. So we have three. Three games. Damn it, damn it. But but do but do any of them have blood? Uh checkmate, atheist. Uh Kirby does have Shit. blood, actually. Fucking... If you get to any of those final bosses. That's <laughs> this oh. Okay, so Ky Kylo, what's your experience with uh with Mad World? I was able to uh, recently play Mad World because uh, I got it at a convention back in like uh, July, and I didn't play the game till like December because I had like a bunch of other games to play. So I was like, I, then I saw I was like, oh yeah, I had Mad World. Let's play it, and I I love this game. Yes, so, like, yes. My life, not having time to play anything. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Wait, what? Got spear, jabby. Yeah, what was up? What was on the top? It, 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 it was part of saying Jabity. Oh. You know, you know what we do. We know we have stupid things. Well, no, I just, for, I, I should have realized the sense of no I should have realized we do dumb things. Yeah. No, but, uh, 
This game is he, really fun. Did he just kill his own teammate? They can, actually. I never knew that. <laughs> do you get the points if they kill their own teammate? Uh, I feel like you should, but... I think you do get points. But I, but I think it's like very basic like first blood points. Ah. If I yeah. remember correctly. I I'm really bad at doing like any uh, extravagant combos. But I think oh. that's all. That's also because in order to do like the like the best kind of combos to get the most amount of points, is you have to like it, it takes up a lot of time. You have to do a lot of planning and setup. And I like to, to, to just wait around to try get to the right combos. It's like I didn't want to like you. You can just simply rush through, kill as many people as you can, and you get enough. Like like you, you you're never like it. The time the the uh the, the time limit in this like it, they're like they're like SA two. Uh, versions of the time limit in the sense that uh, you have no uh, worry of uh, running out of time. You uh, you're given 30 minutes on each level, but I think like 15 on the their levels of each world of each yeah, land. I yeah, you're given you're given 30 minutes, but like since it, since the timeline doesn't count to like cutscenes and all that stuff, like all the, uh, whenever I finish a level, I end up getting like it's like 10 or 15 minutes. And yeah, that's just about... going through simply. So yeah, you're you have no worry of getting enough points. I think the closest one I got to like 30 minutes was the uh, courtyard level because I tried to do that challenge. Mm, God, I wish that was me. I mean, <laughs> what? Hi. Yeah, the final yeah. level was the one that took me the longest because there's like there's so because that, that has a humongous uh, point lead and it gets pretty hard at points. Yeah, uh, but the courtyard I just don't like it because I got it freaking the stupid challenge. I, if, if that's the one I'm thinking of, I think yeah, because I think we're, it's gonna be the, in a few more parts. Uh, the, sh I the shaman, the shaman fight. Oh, I, I actually really like that level, but we'll get to that. I think in, like I like the level. Parts. I just hate the challenge. Because like I like catapulting uh, enemies to the moon. Uh, I think the challenge you're talking about is, is golfing, right? No, it's no oh. the uh, throw the enemies onto the fountain. Oh, oh, right. actually, uh, we'll get to that. But I think I, I think I did that fine. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll get to that a bit. I uh, tell yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hey, no, it's just like the the middle spike was the one I had to struggle. I had to struggle with. I love that I just, special attack. Yeah, and I see that you're using the spears, the weapons, way more. Like you're using them just way more than I did because I conserved them for the boss fights. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that you can like you can like hold on to them and save them till after. But I'm like, I just want to have fun. I just want to kill people in crazy ways. I mean, I think they give you a lot of points if you use them. But mm -hmm. again, the boss fight, I, the boss fights I use, I save them for because they can help me out there. Yeah, you'll Man, yeah. Oh. My favorite thing from Platinum Games is how they like do the name for every single enemy. And it's one, it makes life easier as a let's player because you don't have to say, uh, this sort of sword guy, you actually know what he's called. But also it really gives each of them way more character. But we we said this in like the previous parts is that I feel that uh, in this game, uh, uh, in comparison to a lot of other uh, platinum games and like certain games like this, like say for example, No More Heroes, is that they actually do kind of have more of a character for each of the, like the people you fight. While in this game, it's more so just the only character you have is that if a, is a brief cutscene right before. Uh, you fight them and a name, so you don't really get a sense of who they are. And I kind of wish that there was like you—you you got to know like who, like uh, give them like some kind of personality before yeah. you fight them. Oh, uh, I love this hmm. area. I, I also understand why they don't do that because you're just gonna kill them immediately anyway. True, but it's a, it's at least like a sense of like it gives the world and it gives like a more uh, agency to it. Like you're not just killing a random person. Also, there's fish. You I mean, have fish. Honestly, from Jack's oh. point of view, I think it feels like he is just killing random people. Yeah. I don't think he really cares about who they are. Well, yeah, which for, is for probably Jack, the point. It, yeah, Jack <laughs> doesn't matter, but it's like, I mean, just, I mean, like, say, like, tra like two more number heroes, Travis doesn't really care about who exactly he's killing, but they still give him some kind of a character and personality. If there was just yeah. a bit, if we learned a bit more about the characters, because the only one that we really know about is the final boss. Yeah, yeah. No! My <laughs> fish! <laughs> it was already dead. <laughs> no, it was alive. Oh, it was? Yeah, it was It was like wiggling around. You get a oh, lot of points if you throw it in the fryer, though. What? It was gonna go. It was in the kitchen, so it was gonna die soon anyway. Yeah. I, I want to know. Did you? How many points do you get for putting him? For putting the ninjas in the fryer? 
Uh, I think zero because I tried doing it and it didn't work, so then I just gave up. Yeah, because I, I know, yeah, because I saw this, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to put them on there, and then oh, I, I, I press the button, <laughs> and then but watch, watch this. This is so messed up. Yeah, it says prepared food here. This yeah, took me a bit no, to realize. Yeah, nothing oh, happened, wait. yeah. Yeah, because you're supposed to uh, put them in the fryer first and then throw them in there. Yeah, so you see, yeah, this is the example of, like, oh, you need to do a lot of, like, preparation to kind of get, like, the best amount of kills. But I'm like, I just want to murder people. Uh, I don't care I, how I do it. I just kept chucking them in the fryer, but then I realized, like, okay, what am I supposed to do here? I realized I could walk into the fire, grab the food in there, and I, so I just kept chucking them into the basket. I got, like, 64,000 points from, like, plus mm -hmm. for it. Yeah, you can't send out raw food at a Japanese restaurant. What are you, crazy? Especially raw fish. That'd be weird. Oh, gosh dang it. My question is, who is actually those. eating these people and paying you points for them? It's actually John DiMaggio himself. Not the character he plays, but John DiMaggio himself. I mean, it basically is. I forget, like, which... Oh, yeah, you don't do that. Because you can get a lot of points there. I think you can get enough to get to the boss if you fry every ninja there. Mm -hmm. Which is insane. I think I also, remember is it, it. Is it possible to, f like, not save these geisha girls? I don't know. I, I, I just kind of went through the level, and I, I don't think... I think you have to, because they, 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 they block your progress. Oh, yeah, the pirate yeah. hat. Well, I'm just like... It's also very important to get them smoochies. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Well, it is even. Yeah. It's kind of funny because it, it will come into play later. <laughs> and now they got motorcycles. This must this... be like a career reference. No, I don't think so. I think it's just ninjas. Well, the bike it, looks you know, very uh, similar Kamiya to the one in his, a uh, He likes common riders, so it's possible. True, <laughs> but the, to me, the motorcycle actually looks really similar to the one in Akira too. But yeah. I haven't seen that movie in years, so I could be well, wrong. We are in we are in Asia land, so maybe. But I know they. I come mean, back. if you look at a picture of a uh, of young Hideki Kamiya, he looks like a a common rider. So it's possible that that's just a part of his life he put into this. I'm not sure who. The, I'm not. Uh, I don't know what else the uh, the the director of this game did. But I know the the designer was like a producer for a whole bunch of Capcom games. Well, I, it's a good thing I have the Mad World Wiki up here, <laughs> so I can check on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I already uh, checked. It, the, the the director doesn't have a wiki page, so Whoops. yeah, they don't. Shigenori Nishikawa here. That sounds familiar. Giving it a look. Also, he best yeah. character. Yeah, best <laughs> character. Black, Black Baron. You know. Uh, you know, the Black Baron's in Anarchy Reigns, too, but they changed his name slightly. Yeah, it was uh, him and I, Rin Rin that went into Anarchy Reigns. Yeah, but he's called Black and Baron in Anarchy Reigns. Well, I mean, I mean, I, te I mean technically, isn't there, like, I mean, uh, all of the, they have to be all different Black Barons, because... Yeah, maybe I mean, clones they, 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 they something. Keep, uh, they all keep dying, so they can't be the same person. Do you want to know the actual reason why he's called the Blacker Baron there? Because it's actually kind of amazing. Oh, uh, why? Every Black Baron in this game is actually a white dude in blackface. Oh. And that oh. one is the only one who is the actual Black Baron. <laughs> so that is why he is the Blacker Baron, because he is actually black. Oh, that's great. I want, I want the, the blackest Baron. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I love I love this uh, thing uh, uh, this mini game. Yeah, this is more one of the funner ones. So yeah, here we go. Uh, Shigenori Nishikawa here. He was the uh, director on Mad World, but he worked as designer on Resident Evil 4, the Resident Evil remake. He was a planner on. Uh, he got special thanks in Bloodborne, despite not being related to it at all. That's a bit strange. Um, and he worked on Evil Within 2. So yeah, bit of a horror-themed guy at Capcom, but uh, here he decided to do something quite different. Yeah, I, I know I know one of the designers uh, conceived the uh, Resident Evil remake and was like a producer on all the original Mega Man games, and Bionic Commando, uh, stuff like that. It isn't. Yeah, it's interesting. He hasn't uh, directed anything else since this, at least as far mm -hmm. as I understand. And of course, this game is written by uh, everyone's favorite Sonic writers, Pontac and Graf. Hey. 
this was this was the game that got them Sonic Colors. That's weird. Really? That is so weird. Which is great. They, well, this and Happy Tree Friends, which makes it even funnier. Uh oh. Uh, nope. Oh, I missed. Well, uh, the what reminds me of the most ironic thing for me is that uh, the writers, or at least some of the writers of the Sonic movie, were the creators of the uh, the animated series Golan the Insatiable, which is another like R-rated kind of grossest uh, violent uh, animated series. So I'm like, what is it with Pe Sonic, uh, Sonic, and uh, attracting these super violent uh, writers? I guess uh, it's a little bit of juxtaposition. Although it's worth remembering that uh, Pontac and Graf only wrote the uh, only wrote the announcer dialogue. Uh, the, yeah. the gameplay story was written by uh, somebody else. Uh, I think like just in-house Sega people, in-house Sega and Platinum people. But considering the uh, the announcer voice is the best part of the game, that that just kind of shows that Pontac and Graf they they they, they, they they're overhated. Pontac and Graf, when they're good, they're great. They're out of there. That's why they're I think like, they're element with Sonic. Most of the best stuff in Sonic Colors there was, of course, the uh, the QA, the, not the QA, the PA lines. Yes. So it's yeah. like another similar thing where it's like the best place isn't story for them. It's the little fun bits. I mean, like the best parts of like, I mean, like uh, the best parts, like when they're able to go with like with colors and even parts of Lost World. They're <laughs> at their, <laughs> I just tried chucking them at him and like, oh, I missed. I think you the got him at the very end. Yeah. The best parts of color and colors in Lost World are the like just the little like asides that the characters have. Like colors has a bunch of, like little like funny quotes, and then Lost World has a few of those. But then stuff with like generations and forces where they're very. I just have to stop there because that that, that 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 that's still the best line in the whole game. Nobody said there'd be math. Uh, nobody did say there'd be math. <laughs> I blame our schools. But yeah, with generations and forces, they're basically uh, they're very limited in uh, what the original Japanese uh, script is. So they're just basically translating. So it turns out less uh, interesting. Mhm. Mm You're just punching all those. Yeah. I, at this point, it's basically like I, I remember at this point, uh, I basically ran out of level to go through. So now it's now it's that you're, you're this is like kind of thing where if you're not if you're not doing good at getting points, you're kind of uh, having to backtrack, uh, going back and forth to get more points, yeah. just to continue on uh, through the level. That's why, like the fried thing, is such an important thing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also, if, if I had probably, yeah, if I had probably figured that out, I probably wouldn't have gone on because I do uh, have to grind, grind a little bit now. Also, you're dying. That's oh, true. it healed you. Okay, good. Good. Don't Tell you know, heal you. smooches heal you fully. <laughs> Also, J also, while everybody only dies once, Jack can die two times. Actually, no, he can die three times. And I'll be fine. Are you finally about to go to a stage without dying? No, I, I've, I've, di I've died in like... I think I've died once in every stage. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm gonna go through this stage without dying. Uh, I think I die at the boss. Spoilers. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because whenever... The boss... <gasps> Spoilers! Jeez, I, I was so excited. Uh. I have I have like no skill whenever I'm fighting the boss. Like I, there's no actual power. I just kind of bum rush the bosses until I win. <laughs> just punch them till they stop moving. Yeah. And then this goes on for a while. Just run, just running around, run around this little topiary garden. All right, that's a reference in the corner that I don't understand. Same. I was, I was gonna say like. It's Sin I, City, you fool! You you uncultured oh. swines! What do you think? What do you think Mad World came from? Sorry, I come from a good Catholic household. I was not allowed to watch Sin City. I was like 13 when that came out. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> you think they? Like my parents just probably would have let me watch it, but I just wasn't interested. So. Yeah, yeah, th th this this whole game is very unrealistic because you'd think that they would have run out of people by now but there's still pe there's still enough people in this town to fight yeah but it's like you just keep going back and forth and just endless supply of ninjas just hey man they all yeah. want to be hokage ha but no i don't get it I, I don't i don't watch i don't watch uh baruto there we go i mean orange doesn't exist in this world so and it's it's a bit interesting because, in all honesty, I think it might have just been because I started getting used to the gameplay stuff. But I think the uh, Asian land had some of the easier bosses compared to the first world. 
I think the next world might be my least favorite. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but I'll no, stay the next. The, the second world, bo- uh, the third world, second boss is just the absolute worst. Yeah. But like this one, I would say have some of the easier bosses because at least compared to like Jude Dude and Von Torland Killer. I would say the final world is my favorite world in the game, though. I'm a sucker uh, for that aesthetic. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I like the aesthetic of the final world. I just think it goes on like really long. Like it, 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 yeah. it can go on for long. But it's so like, what you're saying is it's the Eggman Land of Platinum Games levels. No, because Eggman Land doesn't take that long. It, you're all just babies. Which version of you're playing? Eggman well, Land takes a long depends. time. It also depends. Uh, well, the the first level of the third of the final world is pretty short. Uh, the, the, the second, second one level, is just is a gauntlet. Oh wait, are we talking about like Casino Land or? Uh, I was talking about Casino Land. Oh, Casino, uh, Casino Land. I didn't, didn't think it took uh, too long. I, I was talking about the uh, the uh, what do you? No, not Casino Land. The, the, the one, one with all the yeah, one with all the teleporters. Space. Yeah, Space, Space Land. World. Space Land. Oh, Area I 66. I keep forgetting Space they're six. actually called lands. Like I haven't been paying any attention well, to no, what no, they're no. actually called. Uh, yeah, Space Casino Land. I think Asian ultimate. Land or like. I think it's just Asian Land. I think the because I think the fourth one is called uh, the fourth one's called Area 66. Mm. So I think I think that's the only. Wait, one. what about the the Haunted Land? That's what I was talking about being the worst. Well, that one's the worst because of the second boss. Yeah, I don't. I. I Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't like the second area either because it's just like so little things to interact with. So it's really hard to rack yeah. up points there. See, my favorite one is uh, Pirate Land because you can land on the blue spaces and you don't have to worry about getting towed that much. Haha, <laughs> it was making a Mario Party 2 joke. Anyways, thanks. I tried to workshop it while you guys were talking. It didn't work out well. <laughs> no. Uh, I- I'm-, I'm a pretty big fan uh, of Bowser Land. Oh, gosh. Uh, you would be. Well, Bowser Land and Mario Party 2 isn't that bad. It's, it's Mario Party 1 that's the bad one. Well, that one just because it's all red spaces half the time. We thought that was a good idea. A uh, Nintendo, apparently. <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo EAD, <laughs> EAD to be specific. I mean, Bowser Lens is supposed to be hell anyway, so they're not meant to be fun. You're not allowed to say hell in video game though. That's bad. Yeah, except, that's what except, I call hey, Bowser unless, unless your name is Donkey Kong, then you can say hell. Wait, Unless your name is Sonic too, and he Sonic said Hell and Secret did, Rings. When did DK say Hell? Uh, in the DK rap, this Kong oh, right. is one, oh, hell, one of hell of a guy. guy. Yeah, I also, about hell, that. also Hellfire <laughs> Peaks and um, oh, there's your death. Banjo, Tui. It's. I'm surprised because uh, maybe it's because I had the web, the spear by this point, so I kind of cheesed the boss the, the entire time. But I, I wasn't really having trouble with this one. Yeah. I mean, now when I look at that guy's weapon, it's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think... It's so cool that uh, Capcom looked at it and said, hey, we should put that in Dead Rising. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but I want to say that's the weapon you unlock for beating the game. Oh, oh cool. Really? Oh, oh, yeah, that, that is. Yeah, because I remember, yeah, you do get a weapon. I didn't realize it's that weapon. You get, uh, you get the double chainsaw and something else. I uh, don't remember what the second one was. Wow, the castle's <laughs> on fuck fire you. and that TV is still on. Fuck you, Ash. I can wield two chainsaws. And then just uh, yeah, and then just just like uh, regular platinum, uh, they 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 do they do the little clashes amazingly well. Yep. And surprisingly, the motion controls are very forgiving here because yeah, there were I don't remember which I want to say it was during the final boss. I clearly went down when the game told me to go right, and it still countered it. And I'm like, okay, thanks. Oh boy. I'll say yeah. I, I think the controls are pretty. Uh, they're they're pretty dated in some ways, but I wouldn't say it's the motion controls fault. I think it's stuff like just due to the fact that you can't really control the camera, and like having to use like the button the only limited to the buttons on the nunchuck. Yeah, I think it kind of hun- it hinders oh. your control a bit, but like the actual this fighting and stuff. Cool. The motion yeah. controls itself were actually done pretty well. Oh, and we get the one of the best finishers in this game. And what I will say is, if you're not a big fan of the motion controls, there is, of course, uh, a certain way to play this game, not necessarily on a Nintendo Wii console, where people have made a regular controller mod for it, but we wouldn't encourage doing that. The game I didn't know that was a thing. I yeah, know on, you know, uh, on on a, on a aquatic animal of sorts, an intelligent one, you know what I'm saying? Dolphin. I'm talking about dolphin. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you were going to say whale. Gotta get 
this Reckless, got a checklist when I wreck kids Think before you get in the way Ain't no exception, sure you can lay Infectious, yet the freshest and I'm restless Check this, what you mess with is a death wish Let's get ready cause you can't stop mind chainsaw Stop sign on your back blind side